Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Michael the Ark with Let's Play Gaming Entertainment. Today we are doing Season 1, Episode 1 of Call of the Wild Hunts. Now, I've been thinking about how I wanted to do this, and I have finally figured it out. We are going to hunt a single animal for each video, and I'm going to go through my process of trying to find this animal. So, right about here is where a red deer, it's a level 7 max weight red deer with a 249 top estimate. He sleeps over here. So we're going to head over here at his sleep zone time. And we're at Spreeburg right now. Uh, I believe that we need to, we need to go to about 10 o'clock. So let's go ahead and get over there to 10 o'clock all right now what i'm going to do is go ahead and trek over there and i will see you once we get there but it's all the way over here so on the way over there i should mention what i am actually using and why uh we do have a quest to harvest a red deer with a gold score or higher, down with a 270 and a hit to the heart. I doubt that I can hit the heart, but we're going to try to do that if possible. And we will take it with the 270. So, also, I will show you my current loadout. This covers everything for the map, although it's not all rifles. Uh, the current loadout would be the 270 Stradivarius. The Whitlock Model 863030, the 22 rifle, the Rhino in case we run into any bison, and we also have the bow just in case. Uh, we did bring some first aid kits and our binoculars. So let's get on over here. All right, we have made our way over pretty close to the lake. And I'm just going to crouch and slowly go over there. Ooh, about fell down the hill. I'm going to slowly go over here just to see if I can find him and spot him. If I can spot him, uh, we will get set up the best we can. Uh, we need to measure our distance. I want to be a perfect 164 yards away from him for this since it's supposed to be a heart shot. I'm not 100% sure where to shoot on a red deer for heart, but we're going to go ahead and start spotting while we're under this tree here. Just to make sure that he's not out here trekking over there or anything. I do know that he comes in from the other side, or at least the one that was over here did before him. The one before him did, I should say. So I believe it's safe to go right on down here, so let's do that. We're getting pretty close now over to the edge of the lake. And I'm just going to try to sneak out here a little bit. Hopefully not be too visible and spot across the lake. Uh, it looks like I'm about 130 yards, 140 yards from the other side of the lake. So I need to be very careful. He could easily spot me at that distance. Let's go on and... Let's see if we can get up here. I'm trying to stay behind the bushes as much as possible. I'm trying to go pretty slow. And hopefully we'll see him. He, when I spotted him before, I did spook him, but I have walked around that side of the lake, and he was about right in that area right there. So he may not be here yet. I'm going to get under this tree for now because I'm invisible here, and I'm just going to spot around for a, a minute or two. Let's stand up since we can. I do think I have my red deer collar, but I don't know if I want to use it. If uh, I, I'm i just not sure if he's in a sleep zone, if that would be a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and just sit down here for a minute and wait for him to come in. Okay, we've been sitting here just a few minutes. I haven't spotted anything at all. 
Um, I'm not sure that he's even out here right now. Uh, but what we're going to do is it is about 1054. If I have my caller on me, I think I do. I do. We're actually going to bring it down here. And we're going to give a call and just see if we get any type of response at all. There we go. There we go. There he is. There. Wow, look at him. He's 111, 112 away. Let's see if I can stand up. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Stay right there. Okay. I want to I want to back up just a little bit. All right. We're going to zero in for 82. And shoot about right there. Oh, we just dropped him. I believe we did get the heart shot. And that, oh my gosh, that was awesome. Whew. I did not think I was going to be able to do that. I'm actually shocked that that went so well, y'all. Let's go over here and see what we done. I cannot believe we just done that. <laughs> so, it's it's very odd for me to actually hit a heart shot besides anything on a moose. I, I, anything but a moose. I've got down a moose pretty good. But heart shots are not my specialty when it comes to shooting. I just don't know the anatomy well enough. But I just sort of guessed with him. And I really hope that we done good. He was right here, uh, apparently, and was trotting up this way when I called. I guess we called it exactly the right time. So let's head over here. And it looks like he was actually heading back out. This thing was at a top estimate of 249, which is old diamond weight, or diamond estimate, I should say, and just below the new diamond estimate at a level 7. This is a massive level 7. It is a vital. It is a vital. Let's go ahead and we can't really see him too well. Was it a heart shot? Amazing shots. It very well was. And that caliber will leave the smallest possible entry wound. That reward is much deserved. That is awesome. Remember how I told you that Albertina got lost as a kid and believes a red deer saved her? I wanted to wait until she got done talking so I could go through everything. First off, hit information. We got... A, and there she goes talking again. <laughs> Maybe she'll hush now. Flesh, right humerus, right lung, heart. So we hit the, the shoulder, we hit the lung, and then we hit the heart, and it dropped right there. As far as what we got over here, it is a 211.2, and it weighed 482 pounds, 482.39 pounds. Uh, it is a common fur type, a level 7 very hard, and we hit all of the vitals with the harvest checks and everything. We got 100% on everything, so we got a session score of 900 with this guy. Now, the way hunts is going to be done is we're going to go through all of the information and see what it says about him. This guy is looks perfectly symmetrical all the way around. I believe he absolutely is. He is perfectly symmetrical. Let's take a nice screenshot of him, and I believe I will actually get him uh, taxed to go into my lodge. He has got one of the nicer racks. I just got one that was a 200 scoring, but this guy uh, has sl he's slightly bigger, and I like his rack slightly more. It's got maybe one or two points more, I think. So I'm going to go back over here and see. It says number of times 28. So, yeah, that's nice. That is really, really nice. That's awesome. Well, that is that. 
we have done our hunt here for today. I hope y'all have enjoyed the way I'm doing this, and we'll continue to do these with animals that we do have to track down. So I will see y'all in the next one.